There are a lot of different ways that a scholar can research the kinds of questions I'm talking about, civil liberties or, 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 or things like that. Uh, and I've actually done more than one in different projects. Uh, I've done some historical work, which involves digging in the archives. Uh, I wanted to, to figure out how people in the late 19th century, uh, middle, sorry, middle 19th century, uh, thought about law and its relation to society. And so to do that, I read a, a huge number of state court cases from Illinois and Virginia and about six other states. Uh, and, and just recorded notes on all the things that the judges said and the lawyers said in these case files and then sat down and sifted through them uh, and tried to make sense of it all and went back to the political debates of the time by reading the records of constitutional, state constitutional ratifying conventions uh, to see what people were talking about and, and read newspaper articles. And this is the kind of work uh, historians do. And, and I was trained as an historian initially, uh, but I was very aware that I was doing it as a political scientist. And the difference is, I didn't just want to figure out what was being said. I wanted to figure out what it meant uh, and what its consequences were for the shape of what came out of it all and how it resonates with the way we still think about politics today. Um, I've written other things where essentially uh, uh, all I did is read lots and lots and lots of court cases, modern court cases. And I've written more philosophical things. And, and, and those are the sorts of projects I work on now. And the way you do those is you read what people in the field are saying. It's a big conversation. The historian, uh, the political scientist, the political scientist and historian Isaac Kramnik once referred to the 1770s as the great national conversation. And I've always loved that phrase. Uh, when you do philosophical and theoretical work, it's not like a statistical project where you have a particular question you want to answer. And then you figure out a model for gathering data. And then you go gather the data and see if it answers the question. It isn't really like that. It's more a matter of there is a conversation going on with widely different views by people who have spent many years, each of them, thinking about the question. Uh, that covers a range of questions. And there's a thread in this conversation that I want to follow up on and I want to say something about. And then you go and do the work to be in a position uh, to be able to say something about that thread. And that involves, among other things, uh, doing the best you can to know what everybody else has said about it, which can be a lot. Uh, it can involve historical or empirical work, after all, to say something interesting you might actually have to know something real about the world. Um, it can even involve statistics sometimes. But what frames the research, what frames the inquiry, is not, I want to know the answer to this particular question. It's much more, I want to respond to this particular discussion. I think that's the big difference.